They're your favorite ad campaigns for your favorite products. But what makes them popular here in the U.S. doesn't necessarily make sense in other languages. Here are three ads that don't quite translate. We are the no stranger to ad controversy, Pepsi is our first campaign catastrophe. Come alive, you're in the Pepsi generation. They came up with a campaign to appeal to the youth of the 60s, aka the baby boomers. Who is the Pepsi generation? Just about everyone with the young view of things. It worked in the US, but not so well in China, roughly translating to Pepsi brings your ancestors back from the dead. Yikes! I mean, Pepsi's good, but not that good. Next, hold your horses, it's Ford's Pinto. Announcing the new Pinto three-door runabout. Gas shortages of the 70s made this small car a huge success in America and beyond, but sales were stalling in Brazil. Turns out Pinto is the Portuguese word for male genitals. When I bought my Pinto, I think it was a good value. But I didn't know how good until my dad started borrowing it. Ford ended up changing the name from Pinto to Corcel, which means horse. This is me, Colonel Sanders. Finally, we're going back to China for this one, Kentucky Fried Chicken. It's finger licking good. It's finger licking good! No matter who plays him, in Chinese, finger licking good translates to eat your fingers off. Well, Something tells me 11 herbs and spices can't make that taste good. Finger licking, finger licking, finger licking. All right, already. Ads lost in translation is what's on the lowdown.